Hi, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the equipment I've been using for the past month or so here in Tonga when shooting over unders with um, swimming with the gentle giants. So I've been using a new uh, Nikon Z series cameras, the Z6 and the Z7. This is the Z7 I've got here, uh, in this case with the 14 to 30 mil f4 wide angle lens. Um, it's been performing really nicely actually for shooting over unders um, out in the rough ocean. The autofocus has been spot on um, and I'm really, really happy with that camera. And also the great thing about the 14 to 30 mil lens um, is that it's got an 82 mil um, filter screw thread on the front, which is very unusual for a lens this wide. And that allows me to um, attach this um, Nissi four stop uh, neutral density graduated filter to the front. And that helps me balance my over under exposure. So I get nice dramatic skies and good underwater exposure without blowing the clouds out in the sky and things like that. And that has been housed in a uh, Aquatica Digital Z6, Z7 housing. The good thing about the Z6 and Z7 cameras is the body is both identical. Um, the only thing difference is the sensor size. So for the Z7, it's um, a 45 megapixel camera and the Z6 is a 24 megapixel camera. But because the bodies are identical and the way the camera functions is identical, I can use both, camera, both cameras in the same housing. So I've been using the Aquatica Z6-7 housing there for both cameras. And on top of that, I've been using the Aquatica 5HD monitor, which actually works really, really well with the autofocus system of the Z6 and Z7 cameras. So I've been using this to frame up and uh, in, in rough ocean, that's been a, a godsend actually, because to have that nice 5.7 inch um, screen to use for framing when you're getting tossed around all over the ocean makes life a lot easier than trying to use the viewfinder, particularly for shooting over unders as well. So you'll also notice on this rig, I've got one of my homemade um, Matty Smith 12 inch dome ports. Um, this helps me in a number of ways while shooting the over unders because it it keeps the, um, the water line more manageable and helps me center, centralize it on the dome port. And it also reduces the chance of me getting swamped by the waves because it has been a bit windy and a bit rough out there the past few days. Um, and it also gives me greater depth of field so I can shoot potentially at wider apertures um, than you may do usually for shooting over unders because um, I get more depth of field out of the dome port of that size. You'll notice on the back here as well, I've got these two sort of in homemade, these are like stainless steel drinks cans that I've kind of um, fashioned up and um, attached to the back of the housing. What that does is it, it balances the whole thing in the water. So when I'm out on the ocean, the actual camera system here that you can see will float nicely, 50-50, nice and balanced in the water. So there's no pressure on my wrists trying to sink that buoyant dome port. And it just makes the whole system easy to handle. And again, with that, with that um, screen there, I can actually sit in the water with this in front of me like this and be looking at the screen and happily shooting away. So it's been a great month. I've got some great pictures, really, really happy with all the gear. It's been performing beautifully. So thanks for listening.